means.
Thank you. Okay, hi. Okay, this is gonna be breathy because catch my breath. My name is Sarah Nguyen. Thank you for watching and being part of LinkRot, Dancing the Digital Decay. I'd like to start with a big thank you to Rami and Ronnie. He made the music to accompany this piece. The music was streamed from Brooklyn, New York and live generated from his Okta track based off of <laughs> Rami. Um, it was based off of all of yesterday's talks, so you might have recognized some of the voices throughout the piece. Uh, so we rely on links in order to share information, make data into something understandable, and create some sort of relatable knowledge base. When these relationships are broken, we lose access to data, information is incomplete, and knowledge is lost. This can be seen through 404 error pages, broken redirects, irreproducible systems, and decaying magnetic tape. This performance is an analogy for the bit rot and obsolescence that can happen over time as we upgrade and update technologies. Yesterday, I recorded the audio from all the talks and sent it to Ramin. Thank you all for letting me use that CC by. Got you there. Um, and the music was intentionally made to start off as if we're building the internet. It gradually builds up to represent the supposed utopia of links, relations, and connections. The music gradually breaks down as people begin to exploit and disregard as those connections decay and become obsolete. The piece ends with a storm of irrelevant connections that should not have been, made, should not have been formed and closes with a lone hard drive spinning distant memories. I dance this because physical movement and dance is the most ephemeral medium to me at least. We cannot easily recreate, document, or back up a muscle tone, a dancer's breath, wherever that breath is, or the dancer's relationship to the audience. I'm a graduate student for libraries, information science, and archives, and I'm interested in the rate of obsolescence of our digital ephemera and how we can, or if we even should, emulate or recreate technologies. I'm curious about what are the systems, code base, environments, or maintenance that are needed to ensure that people have access to this knowledge in the future. How can, these, how can we document, package digital objects so that even aliens in the future are able to reproduce what has brought us joy? In the end, it's also important to consider that not everything needs to be preserved and everyone and everything has the right to be forgotten. Uh, thank you so much for watching and listening and support the UCSC Student Strike. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>